Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of measurement problems. This is standard 4.8c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 23 of the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got three quarts of water in a container in a science classroom. Student poured out one quart, three cups, that's into the sink. So now we need to find out the amount of quarts and cups left in the container after the, okay, that's interesting. So let's see if we can draw a picture here. So I'm gonna have a little container here. Okay, so here's my container. And it's got three quarts, all right, so three QT. So I'm gonna kind of represent that here. So I'm just gonna pretend like it's three boxes. Now I'm going to label each box as a quart, just so I can kind of visually represent that. All right, so this is one quart, one quart, one quart. Now we need to get into our mathematics chart, our formula chart, to see how we can convert these quarts. And what we find is that we've got two pints equal one quart. Okay, uh, so watch this. I'm just going to draw these same boxes. But I'm going to convert them into two pints. All right, so PT is going to be our abbreviation for pint. All right, now, pints don't really help me yet because I need quart and cups. But if I look again, I'll see that two cups, and that's just represented with C, equals one pint. So that's going to at least get me uh, to the level that I want. So I'm going to take each of these, draw each of them again. There's my two points, right? All right. So there's my two points, and there's my two points. Now it says that for each pint, I've got two cups. So I'm just going to cut each of these in half. And I'm going to put two cups in each. I'll just put the letter C. All right, so what I've spent all of this time doing is converting my three quarts into cups. And you notice that each quart has two pints, each pint has two cups. So if I wanted to, I could have just skipped and done one quart equals four cups, but I've got 12 cups. So three quarts equals six pints equals, and you see I've got four, eight, 12 cups. Now, how does that help me? Well, let's say, a student poured one quart and three cups of water into the sink. So I'm going to take out this quart, but now it's a whole row. So this whole quart is gone because we poured it into the sink. And then three cups. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this one, and this one, and this one. All right, so what's left? Well, I've got that little guy right here. And I've got this whole row right here. So what I have left is one, two, three, four, five. So five cups left. But they're probably not going to give it to me in five cups. What I need to do is I need to take these four cups and bring them back into the largest unit possible, which is going to be that quart. So five quarts is really, or five cups is really one quart and one cup left. So that's what this row and that one little guy right there is left. So my answer is D.